Welcome to The Buzz, where we bring you the leaders in dental education, discussing hot topic courses and industry trends. I'm your host, Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speakers Bureau, and today I'm interviewing Darren Caberna. Thanks for being here, Darren. My pleasure. Darren has more than 20 years experience in dentistry. He also has earned an MBA in finance and marketing, and he manages a remote team um, and has created a culture that can function well from a distance. He brings these concepts and more team building concepts to his presentation entitled Servant Leadership, Rise Up versus Show Up. Darren, as we chat about this course today, could you start us off by helping us understand what is the challenge for the dental practice now that, that this course can help solve? You know, one of the big challenges in America at this point is I feel like a lot of employees show up to work, and, and but they're not rising up, they're not bringing value, they're not bringing passion, they're literally just trying to get by. And, and I gotta believe that that keeps a lot of the course attendees, at least the owners, you know, sleepless at night, wondering how in the world can I shift the culture in my practice to be different to where my pay, my uh, team will be a servant leader of, of the practice and of the patients ultimately. Mm. So thank you for that. Help us understand more deeply. If we were to attend your course, how do you teach us this? What are some of the things we learn? What, what do we do in your course? Well, there needs to be a, a creation of accountability in each office. And so the first and foremost thing that needs to be taught to every attendee, whether it's the doctor or one of the teammates, is how can I be accountable to my job, to my, my profession, to the things that I want to accomplish? And the challenge I find with the word accountability is a lot of people don't like it. And, and until they can embrace it and figure out that, hey, accountability is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it can be a really, really good thing. And the person that you want to learn to be the most accountable to, first and foremost, is yourself. Mm -hmm. So what a great concept, because we all have broken promises that we've made to ourselves, right? I'm going to lose weight this year. I'm going to quit drinking this year. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to improve my relationships. If we think about this, if we broke as many promises to our friends that we do to ourselves, would we still be friends with it? ourselves. Oh, that's a good point. And the reality is we'd fire each other. If I broke as many promises to you as I might to myself over history, I'd, you'd fire me as a friend and rightfully so. So accountability in my mind, first and foremost, is how can I keep promises to myself? If I can't keep them to myself, there's no way I can keep them to anyone else. So it's a very internal journey for every person in the audience relative to first and foremost, keeping your own promises to yourself, shifting your own attitudes and beliefs in this world to then how do you bring that to work? How can you rise up and work? Not in a bad way, but rise up to where the whole team rises up and thus the practice rises up and does better too. Awesome. Sounds like it's a fun course. Um, it, I know you, you and I chatted before that uh, your courses are fairly interactive. So how does that apply to this course? Yeah, that would be an understatement in this one. <laughs> and the reason being is because it has to be such a personal journey. And to do that, you've got to get people on their feet. You've got to get a moving. Otherwise, it's just this awkward conversation about, hey, you know, I have this problem with drinking or smoking or marriages or whatever it might be. And so it becomes very, very interactive with a crowd. And what's the beauty of that is whenever I can talk to one person in a crowd, one of the, the gifts I've been given, I guess, is the ability to have other people put themselves in that seat with whoever it is I'm interacting with and make it so it's a very personal journey. Even if I'm only having a conversation with you, how can 400 other people put themselves in your shoes in that moment and walk away with some value out of it? And, and I think that's something I've gotten pretty good at. Yeah, it sounds like it's a great course. Now, it, it, assuming it's for the entire team, and is this, a, you know, a two or three hours? Is it a full day? I mean, what's the length typically? You know, I've, the done it, I've done it in all formats. Um, I would guess probably ideals you know, two, three hours-ish. Um, longer than that can be awesome, but it gets to be such a personal journey that uh, it works really, really well but it gets to be a real deep journey then. And, and I could see where some meeting planners might be concerned that if it was an all day sort of program, how would it relate to dentistry? And, and it would for sure. But I think probably ideals, you know, three-ish hours. 
Okay, awesome. Well, is there anything that we haven't covered that it would be important to the event planner to know about this course? You know, I, I think having a course that is very personal and, and journey that can transform the person's heart. Because the challenge I find, a lot of doctors come to me going, I have a business problem. And my experience is you don't have a business problem. You have a personal problem that's reflective in your business. Mm -hmm. And that is germane to every single person who's in the office. Each person's responsibilities in the office are usually a reflection of whatever personal challenges they might ha have in their life or the distractions in their lives. And then they have a, a detrimental impact on their professional performance. So having a very, very high energy environment where our course, where we can help people shift their life dramatically is, is really fun to be a part of. And two, the results you see, I mean, I hear feedback from people losing weight, quitting smoking, quitting drinking, fixing their marriages. That, that sort of feedback that I get emails about is so heartwarming to me and surprisingly very, very common. Mm, that's awesome. It does sound like a really um, unique and um, comprehensive and um, need, needed uh, course. So thank you for bringing that to dentistry. My pleasure for sure. And thank you for being here today to discuss your, your um, course, Servant Leadership Rise Up versus Show Up. For the event planner who'd like more information on Darren's courses, visit dentalspeakersbureau.com where you can find uh, Darren's courses, uh, Darren Caberna, K-A-B-E-R-N-A. -E you can search, um, with the, we have a search function there, a couple different ways to do it. But if you would like help um, reaching out to Darren, just shoot me an email, info at dentalspeakersbureau.com and I'd be happy to connect you. So until next time, uh, be well and thank you for, again for tuning in.